boy. Hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. Today I am coming out with another power-packed spiritual information. By the grace of God, we shall be sharing knowledge on a particular powerful spiritual tips on how you can protect yourself. Several people have been invaded. Siege has been laid against several people by the enemies. And you need to protect yourself in order to be alive, to enjoy your divine destiny and fulfill your divine destiny. And by the grace of God, I want to share this secret with you people. In fact, as a matter of fact, I have been warned not to share this secret anyhow. But because you as a child of God need to know this, because knowledge is power. I don't care where they've been attacking you from, but what I'm going to give today is a recipe that you can use to shield yourself from the attacks of the enemies. And when you exercise this particular spiritual uh, assignment that I want to share with you today, when the enemies fire you arrow, it will not enter. When they conspire against you, confusion will invade them. So the, the information is a very important information, and I will want you to try it out. Yes, protection is only in the hands of the Lord. God is the protector. And that is why Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So our protection as children of God is solely in the hand of God. But there are natural things you can also put into use to repel evil from coming close to you. And God is wise. So in today's edition of our video uh, broadcast, you will be needing some items. One, you are going to need a snail, a big snail. A big snail that is alive, not snail shell. Big snail that still has a live snail in it. A snail, you need one like this, big one. Another thing you're going to need for this particular powerful spiritual protection assignment is one full alligator pepper. One like this, one ball. What else will you need? You will need a native pot, a clay pot. Then you will also need salt, cooking salt, edible salt. I don't have a, a pack of salt with me here. I would have also shown you, but all of us know salt. You need salt. Then you're also going to need some little amount of scent leaf. Now, if this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, don't forget I am your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams. Welcome to our YouTube channel, a family channel where everybody is important. God bless you for joining this channel. And I pray for you, whatsoever is the reason God allowed you to come in contact with this channel. God shall grant you your expectation and he will do that great and mighty things he wants to do for you through this channel for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, you have to become a bona fide member of this family by subscribing to our channel. How do you subscribe? Look at the right hand side down below of this video. You see a red subscribe button. Click on it. Then put your notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. Unless I forget, on this channel, we share knowledge on spirituality. How to use natural materials, natural items, natural resources, connecting to their spiritual energies, their spiritual frequencies, vibrations, and properties to help yourself solve your spiritual related matters. Not to manifest any good thing you want to manifest in your life. God bless you as you do so. To my returning subscribers, my returning viewers, old and new subscribers, my lovers out there, my great fans, double thumbs up. 
You are the best, and I appreciate you all. I say, may the good God continue to support you in everything you do, in the name of Jesus Christ. And to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to God Almighty, who in all has been doing all, for the gift of life and protection over us and our families, I bow my head. I say, God, thank you, in the name of Jesus. And don't forget that Jesus loves you. Don't forget that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for your salvation and for your redemption. Repent of your evil ways. Give your life to Christ Jesus. Live a life that is righteous, that is pleasing unto God, and every other thing will be in place. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Now, quickly, how do we prepare this protection recipe? You are going to get your snail. Number one thing you will do in the night before you go to bed, get your snail. Put it on the floor. I did not say, I did not say on the rug. Whether your apartment is cemented, whether the apartment is tiled, it is okay. But do not put it on a rug. Now, what you do is you put the snail down, then you use salt. And draw a circle round about the snail. You draw a circle of salt round about that snail. And you leave it there. Go to sleep. In the morning, by the time you wake up, you will see that snail will want to escape that circle. And in the course of trying to escape that circle, the snail will climb over the salt that you have used to build a circle around about it. And automatically, when that snail touches the, the salt, the snail will die. Yes. It's natural. When the snail climbs on top of the salt, it will die. Then when you wake up in the morning, you will see the snail dead. If that snail did not venture to cross that line, and it's still there where you kept it. Take the snail, dip it inside water, put it back there. The next night, allow it until it tries to cross that salt and climb the salt. Then it dies on its own, naturally. Then what do you do? When you have found the snake dead, you take this, I mean the snail rather, you take the snail, that is the dead snail, get your clay pot, Put the snail inside a clay pot. Then you get your one bulb of alligator pepper. I didn't say open it. Just get it like that. Drop it inside. You see, the content we have here is alligator pepper and snail. Then you get the uh, scent leaf, some amount of scent leaf, and add it inside. Now, you are done with the salt. You don't have any business with the salt again. The salt has done its own assignment. So what do you do? You sweep that salt that is there and throw it away. Then, without putting any other thing inside this clay pot, just your snail, your alligator pepper, and the scent leaf, then you put on your fire. You can use stove. You can use gas, gas cooker. You can use uh, uh, firewood, whichever one. Then you put on... The, the light, then you carry this pot, the native pot, put on the fire. Don't put water, don't put anything. Just allow the heat of the fire to heat this pot and by such doing, the contents of the pot will all burn and burn to ashes. Now, when they have burned to ashes, stage one of this protection assignment is gone. Now, before we go to the stage two, let me advertise more because it is work chop. Now, God bless you one more time. We have some spiritual products that helps you, enhances or speeds up the manifestation of your spirituality, your healings, your deliverance, your cleansing, your detoxification, your attraction. We have the cost-breaking soap. We have the back-to-sender soap. 
We have the road opening soap. We have the anti-witchcraft soap. We have the favor soap. We have the love and attraction soap. We have the anti-witchcraft cream. We equally have the cobwebs solution oil, the anti-cobwebs oil. You they work out for road cobwebs, they cut you on plain express road. That is attack. We have an oil to remedy that. Then we have the April Ball Plus spiritual detox. For detoxifying your body of uh, pastor, if they pay me here, I'm having moving objects all over my body. This particular product will eradicate, detoxify your body system of all moving objects, all contaminations that the enemy has invaded your body with through sex in the dream, through eating in the dream, and through normal projection through the airs. So it cleanses them off and makes your spirit man and your body healthy and sound again. I can hit my chest and tell you, they are tested and trusted. Some of you who are watching me out there that have patronized and used any of these products can testify to it. God bless you. All you need to do is chat me up on WhatsApp or call me on WhatsApp. Why? At the snap of the finger, DHL or FedEx will deliver it at your doorstep. And peradventure, you've been trying to take care of some spiritual matters. You've been doing some assignments on your own. And it seems your energy level cannot help you so far. Get in contact with me. Let us discuss and dialogue on how I can come in to help you. But don't forget, there is nothing free, even in free time. God bless you as you do so. Quickly, I'm waiting for your order. Yes, now back to our subject of discussion. When the items in the pot as burnt. It's going to take a little time for the pot to heat those items to burn them to ashes. Now, after that is done, what do you do next? Now, you have the powder. What you will have left in the pot is a kind of charcoal type of thing or powdery uh, substance. You pour it out of that pot. You can either put it in a plate or in a thick paper to grind it, to smoothen it, to become complete powder. You know what I mean? Because it will not, it will not become complete powder inside the pot, but it will have burnt and become kind of charcoalish. So you now grind it to smoothen it into smooth powder. Then when you have gotten that, you are now going to consecrate it. You are going to charge it. You call the protection power of the Almighty God into it. And you are going to use two scriptures. Number one scripture you are going to read over that substance, the powdery substance now, is Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. Let us go there and see what Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5 says. And it says, For I, see the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and I will be the glory in the midst of her. God is promising to be unto me and unto you and unto his people a wall of fire round about. So when the wall of fire of God is round about you, no evil can penetrate. No enemy can penetrate. No weapon of the enemy can pass through the pillar of fire of God. So you tell God, Father, let your power, let your spirit, let your fire, the anointing of fire, possess this powder for divine protection. I empower it, I charge it with your power in Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. Then another scripture you're going to use to charge this particular substance. Don't forget. That the snail has this protection property. That is why the re-edible snail is always protected by the shell. And you know that alligator pepper, as usual, is uh, an activator of spirituality. And you know that the same leaf is a plant, is a herb for protection, for repelling of 
negative energies and for cleansing also. So you are going to read and Psalm 125, verse 1 and 2. Let us go there. In consecrating this substance to make it a power-packed spiritual instrument. Psalm 125. From verse 1 and 2, he says, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth and even forever. So God is round about his people. So you are going to read this Psalm 125. So when you read that Psalm 125, you use it to consecrate that substance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then you can now pack it and put it inside a container. How do you use it? When you want to take your bait, when you have mixed your water for baiting, what do you do? You get some amount of that powdery substance that you have consecrated for protection. You put it inside that water and bless the water, asking God to let his power of protection possess this water. That as you bait with this water, no arrow, no evil thought will be able to prevail over you. Go and try it out, and you are going to come back with results and testimonies. I will be putting this video, bringing this video to an end at this juncture. Before we meet, until we meet in my next video, remain blessed.